that's a few people schedule eligible for the primetime game still they still bring that edge? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, anytime you get to play at uh, Thursday night at uh, 7.30 or whatever time it is, um, you know, everyone's watching, the whole world's watching. So, you know, that's our time to really display who we are as a team and uh, show our identity. Kevin, you guys put up a lot of points. You haven't been that person at the forefront of the scoring, but you've been at the forefront of the blocking and doing all the little things. What's been your mental state as to, like, to stay locked in even when maybe the plays aren't coming, you're coming your way? Yeah. Uh, I mean, my mentality every play is, you know, dominate the play that I'm on. Um, you know, I'm never looking back or looking forward to, you know, what could have happened, what's going to happen. Um, you know, I'm always, I always try to stay locked in on every play I'm in. And, uh, you know, the ball's going to find me. I'm not worried about it. I never have been. So, you know, just one play at a time and one game at a time. At this point in the season, your freshman year, you guys are already taking a loss. Um, but, I mean, how does this compare to, you know, what that season was and what it felt like to be in the middle of it? Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels the same, um, you know, as far as winning. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a different year. I mean, we're undefeated right now, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Records don't matter. Um, you know, we're just focused on Thursday, and that's it. So. What about the mindset? Um, I mean, the guys in the locker room between the 21 team and the Thunders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, for one thing, I know we're not getting complacent. Um, you know, we got a bunch of guys, uh, you know, on our team that are hungry, and, you know, they want to keep eating, and, uh, you know, they're going to continue to show that. So it's just up from here. You have a lot of young guys on, on your team, and especially on, on, on offense. How have they taken to the tone that you guys have tried to set as a veteran to be like, hey, we cannot afford to not be focused this week because we feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, it's that's the mindset every day. Um, you know, we we told everyone in the summer, you know, you know, not, we can't take take a single day off because you know, you know, we're gonna have a target on our back once we get rolling through the season, and um, you know, that's we're doing exactly what we talked about, and you know, we got to keep that same mindset of you know being the underdog and coming to work every day. Yeah, what did you learn, or at what point did you realize that? take joy in the little things that you do. It doesn't always have to be about receiving. Yeah, I mean, I every day, you know, I realized that my freshman year, uh, the second I came here. Um, you know, you really got to enjoy everything that you do. Um, you know, when things don't go your way, you still got to be happy. Um, so, you know, just coming in day in and day out and doing your job, doing the little things right, and uh, just buying in. Is there any, any position in life better than being a scholarship athlete in a school? Like, like this, I mean, it's yeah, like no, I, we haven't made. Yeah, no, I don't think there is. I mean, I truly am blessed to be here. Um, you know, I wouldn't have came back if I didn't think that this place was home. Um, you know, I'm a true pit man, and I'm happy to say it. Anything interesting in the way Syracuse plays on defense that you guys have been noticing in you know, scouting and everything like that? Yeah, no, they got a lot of uh, good players. Um, you know, I remember playing a couple of them, you know, my freshman year throughout the years. Um, you know, they, they do a lot of good things on defense. I imagine they're going to switch things up and, you know, throw a lot of things at us, um, you know, based off the way Cal played us. But, you know, we'll see. Do you know you're ranked 19th and did you care? Uh, I did see that, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, you know, our mindset, we should be higher. So, you know, we're going to go out there on Thursday and prove it. You had a guy who said several times this year, hey, this is on me. That, like, the start of Cincinnati was on him. He thought uh, he talked about that being on him that you guys didn't score as many points last week. How have you seen him address his mistakes week by week? Like, what does he do behind the scenes that everyone should know? Yeah, I mean, he's just the guy that comes in and works, um, you know, whenever he's watching film or anything, you know, he's always making mistakes, you know, trying to figure out what he can do, uh, you know, to be better um, at what he did and, uh, you know, who, who he can get the ball to. Um, you know, he's always a guy that's going to come in and try and find solutions to problems and, uh, you know, try and get the team rolling. Yeah, but as a leader of this team, quarterback shows accountability. What does that mean to a group? That's big time. It shows the whole team that, you know, he's willing to take accountability for the mistakes um, that we have and um, you know that shows a lot in the leadership you know for an offense knowing that you have a quarterback that can uh, you know take the blame and point the finger at himself um, you know I think that goes a long way. How do you feel about your input as far as like your opinions on the on part, parts of things the offense if you like do when you tell Coach Bro something you know if that gets to Kate or do you get to talk to Kate about hey I think I think I see this like you know as a, as a vet on this team mm -hmm. like, what, if, what if we do this you know going into this week get those kind of moments with this coaching staff? Yeah, absolutely. We're very open about everything. Um, you know, there's, if I want something one way, I'm going to tell the coach, and if he wants it another way, he's going to tell me. Um, you know, there's no hiding in this uh, facility from anyone. But uh, the relationships that we have in this facility really are special. And, uh, you know, I can go up to Coach Bro or Coach Bell and tell him whatever I want, like, whatever. And, uh, you know, they'll be like, all right, I, I trust you. Um, and it goes both ways, so. We, we heard during the uh, third spring when Coach Bro had a trash can over his head. <laughs> Has he done anything else this season that's kind of like amps you guys up in the tight end room? Um, he got us crowbars this week. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real crowbars? Oh, yeah, real crowbars, yeah. What was, what's the meaning of that? Uh, to pry the DMs open. <laughs>
you know, we, we got a big uh, responsibility this week on, uh, you know, we got some big time blocks that we got to make. So, you know, that's our, uh, that's our mindset this week. Have you ever seen anyone as explosive as Desmond Reed coming out of the backfield? Um, you know, we got a lot of explosive players, but, you know, I think he's a uh, hell of an athlete. And, um, you know, to have him on our side is definitely a plus and a good thing to have. So. But you guys talked about how Kane's just kind of always drawn a play in all the different ways, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's added so much. Um, you know, I don't even remember the install. I feel like everything we're running now is like kind of new, which is nice because, uh, you know, it shows, you know, he's trying to draw it up and everything like that. So, um, you know, it's definitely a lot different. And, you know, he's always scheming stuff to get guys the ball. So, you know, it's awesome. What was your you all's reaction when you got there, bro? But like, when you got him, did he say what they were before? Like, like walk me through how, <laughs> how that presentation goes. Yeah, no, we walked in, uh, I think, it, what was it? It was Sunday. And uh, we had crowbars on the desk and we're all like, <laughs> and uh, uh, he made a PowerPoint on like the reasoning of it, and it, he showed us like the definition, like all the synonyms, like it was everything. So it was great. It was fine. What you do with your crowbar? Is it here? Oh yeah, yeah. We bring it in every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Any final? Okay, thank you. Perfect. Thank you.